Howdy y'all, it is Wednesday, January 31st, it is almost 5 o'clock p.m. I am almost done grading everybody's journals. Uh, I'm doing my best to get them all done tonight. Uh, if some don't come in till tomorrow morning, I apologize, but I will have everybody's entirety of week three graded feedback to you by tomorrow morning at the latest. I'm trying, guys. Tell people to quit calling and emailing me. I mean, happy to be of service. Um, okay. So, speaking of Darling Hammond and building relationships and building trust, uh, in the spirit of that, I have to admit that I, uh, messed up with something. <sighs> It was such a boneheaded move, too. So, uh, and in several of the videos, I specifically said to you guys, we've got to be human in front of our students, and we've got to show them that when we make a mistake, it is what it is, and we deal with it, and we move on. Okay, don't anybody panic. This boneheaded move is going to work in your favor. If you look inside course information, if you took the time to go through, da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da. The grading structure and points for this class, you will notice that the What is Curriculum Wiki that we did in week one, and then we revisit now here in week four, and we revisit again in week eight, yeah, that was a cumulative score that was worth 10 points. For the week one work because it was your first time in and then five more points for week four uh because it was you know reflecting and refining and then five more points let me show you as long as i'm deep diving into my own duh moment let's go for it uh right there revisit five points week eight revisit five points well I gave you the full 20 in week one. Why? I wish I had something more brilliant to share with you, but uh, I messed up. So you've already got the 20 points, but uh, go ahead and complete it. And as far as I can see, one only one person has jumped in yet. That's okay. It's Wednesday. That's, that's the great kind of work like your blog to leave for the end of the week. So, uh, uh, I can't do another five points. That's kind of skewing things too much. But uh, for going ahead and completing the revisiting here in week four, 2.5 points of extra credit. And then in week eight, another 2.5 points of extra credit. Okay? Me showing you. I recognize. And when I make a mistake, I own it. It is what it is. So it works in your favor. Get that work done. Take your time with it. Don't rush. But... Uh, it's kind of fun thing, not uh, the way to the world, okay? Uh, just two more things I wanted to say. If work is going to be late, you must let me know. The late work policy is clear. I talked about it in my course introduction video, which several people still haven't watched. Okay. Um... Guys, honestly, uh, I can't give feedback on stuff that comes in late that I'm not prepared for. And I'm not saying that because, you know, it's my policy. It's my policy because it's how I survive as a teacher, right? Everybody has their different survival mechanisms. I have 50 graduate students this term. And I'm in charge of, you don't even want to know. We all have our, right? We all have our load. Um, I, If I'm not prepared to know that I have to carve out time to go back and see stuff, I can't promise you I will. And there are people leaving holes here or there and trying to slip stuff in later. I'm not doing this because I'm evil. This is seriously survival skill. Okay? If it's going to be late, you must let me know. You will get an email from me saying, okay, I understand your mom is sick, you, this is going on, you're whatever. You've got to talk to me. 
to just try and sneak stuff in after the due date thinking I won't notice. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I cannot promise you I'll get back to it. Okay? One last thing on a positive note. To focus in on the choice books due week four, the end of this week. Use the rubric. I cannot say it again. Think about what Darling Hammond shared in the week three video about how project-based learning affords that individual engagement. Well, you may not be working directly in groups on this, but you are expected not just to engage with your whole self, but what what is right there at the bottom of the rubric response to a peer who read one of the other books you didn't and response to a peer who read the other please give meaningful feedback not just oh yeah it was good thanks for doing this what did you get out of it? Was the marketing material strong enough to give you the impetus to go out and read that book? Be engaged. We are a learning community. Now, if somebody did something and you think they didn't, they didn't sell it, you can say that in an informative, collegial fashion. That's part of what we're doing here, is really knowing how to work collaboratively in a 21st century environment okay there's a lot of different ways you can phrase it that are appropriate and that are meaningful you know I appreciate that you tried but I gotta tell you it didn't make me want to read the book and I think the reason was I didn't feel a connection affectively or from a behavioral perspective I really couldn't make a connection to my own practice that's okay that's constructive criticism totally cool totally valid helps strengthen the relationships you can disagree with someone and that can still help build a better bridge of understanding and how to communicate better so these are not throwaways and I can tell when they are because usually they're cringeworthy please no cringeworthy okay you're putting a lot of effort and creativity and thought into your work when you are sharing your response to a peer, I'm not saying you have to be a cheerleader, but I'm saying speak to your peer as a fellow educator. Give them constructive criticism. If you don't get what they're trying to do, tell them why you're having the disconnect so that maybe next time they do something like this, they could think about this, that, or the other. All right? So I am truly trying to get you all those journals tonight. I promise you tomorrow morning by the latest. Yesterday, that day in Irvine, oh, I love the 405 because there's nothing better than sitting on there when the traffic's not moving. Oh, I love Southern California. All right, that was sarcasm. All right, ciao, ciao, have a lovely day. And oh, I'm sorry, what day is it?